Hey everyone, Josh Schaffner with Pioneer Seeds. This seed may here to discuss how to and the importance of scouting for adult corn rootworm beetles. Usually in the month of June, we're concerned about what corn rootworm larvae are doing to our corn crop below ground. As we get to pollination in July and August, we're kind of concerned about how many beetles are emerging so we can quantify what kind of pressure we'll see uh, for next year's corn crop. To do so, I like to utilize pheromone sticky traps. It's probably the best way to quantify, to catch, and to measure what kind of pressure we'll have for the next season. I have an example of one pheromone sticky trap set up here. I also have a tool belt on here, something I like to use as I'm setting these up in the field. It makes it a little bit easier uh, to handle. These can be really sticky, kind of slimy to manage, and this just makes it a little bit easier to set these up, take them down as I count them each week. Uh, to do this, we like to take these traps out in the middle of the field, get off the headland in a straight row and set up six, six traps per field. Depending on field size, we like to space these out up to maybe 100 feet between each trap. That'll vary depending on what kind of field size you're collecting data from. From there, we'll come out one week later. We'll take a look at this trap. We'll count how many northern and western corn rootworm beetles we've caught. Uh, we'll take that trap down, put up a new one. We'll do that for all six traps and we'll continue this process for four to six weeks. Once we find the peak pressure during that four to six week period, we can calibrate that back to some, some threshold levels that'll help us make decisions for the next year. If on average we catch less than 20 beetles per trap per week, we consider that low pressure. If we catch 21 to 50 beetles per week, we consider that moderate. If we catch more than 50 beetles on average per trap per week, we're gonna consider that high pressure. In a high pressure situation, we're going to really suggest that we rotate away from corn to try to break that cycle and bring that population down. If we're in the moderate range, we can certainly come back with corn on that field, but we're going to want to utilize a good dual mode of action corn rootworm trait. If we're in the low range, we're going to suggest utilizing a trait, or in low pressure, we can utilize a good granular soil applied insecticide. Scouting for corn rootworm is probably, adult corn rootworm beetles is probably one of the most underutilized practices that we have in agronomy. Um, certainly, it's not the most fun thing to do. You think about this time of year in July, it's hot, it's humid, the corn's pollinating. It's not a lot of fun tranching through these fields, but it can give you incredible insight to next year's crop as you make it, um, investment decisions for your operation next year. With this update, I'm Pioneer Field Agronomist, Josh Schaffner. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.